Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to use and customize Windows 10 start menu and taskbar. In yesterday's video, a lot of people were asking how I got that blue effect on the menu system and the taskbar. So I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to do it. So right click on your desktop and go personalize. And this will open up your settings box, or you can go to the start button here, go settings, and then go to personalization and it's on here okay so you can see this little color theme going on here and this is to do with the colors inside here so you can uh, customize your color palette now it's not covering the whole of my uh, start menu here and that's because I reset it because I wanted to show you how to do it so when you click on colors it gives you an example of what your color theme is at this uh, present time so you can see here we've got choose your color we've got light dark and custom now we're going to be using the custom area but you can use the light and dark and this will change uh, the theme to light or dark it's that simple if you want to add a bit of color to it you're going to need to use your color palette now I'm going to use custom here because I want to use my own custom color so it says choose your uh, default window mode and this will be light or dark you can see the bottom there being changed now you also have choose your default app mode to light or dark and you can see here when I do this it changes uh, the app mode here so I can change that as well so once we've got that done what we need to do here is leave the transparent effect on or off and this will change your transparent effect you can see there's a little transparency there when you leave that on now you've got you choose your accent color this is where you're going to choose the color that you like now you can choose whatever colors you like there's tons of them to choose from if you're finding it hard to see one there you can go to the customization palette and choose whatever customized uh, color you want then you can use the slider bar for more intensity or less intensity and again uh, you can basically go to your RGB or HSV or you can use your hex code here whatever it is you want to set yours up as you can tweak and set it up there very simple and easy to do so let me go ahead and click the light blue here the one I've got set up and uh, that's now in place now when I click on here you won't see the menu showing up all blue and that's what I think they were asking me to show them how to do it it's very simple so you can see we've got these little bottom uh, boxes down here put a tick in the title bars and window borders and also there's a little tick here that says automatically pick an accent color from the background so we don't want to do that but this will also see a grayed out box here now to get that enabled what we need to do is remove the tick from automatically pick a accent color for us and put our color in and then go to choose your default window mode and put that in dark you still got the blue selected here and we are now in dark window mode with our blue color and what we need to do is put a tick in start taskbar and action center so now we've got both of those ticks done and now you will see you'll get a full color right across here and that's basically it that's basically how you can change the color system on your menu and get the color that you want for your little setup now we do have some others here if you go light and dark here this does change this and it will lose that tick in that box and if you go dark mode you will still lose that tick down the bottom but these are for people that just want light or dark modes on their uh, computer so what we'll do is we'll go and set this back up to the way we had it I'm going to put light there and dark for the window mode and put my color back on and put the ticks back in down the bottom and we should be okay but if you don't do that you're going to end up with a dark uh, backdrop for your men menu system here and this will get it set exactly how you want it with that blue color theme very simple and easy to do and it should look something like this so it's a pretty basic uh, video but I just wanted to get this covered so people know how to do it because I've got quite a few people asking about it yesterday so while we're doing this particular type of video let's cover the taskbar and also the start menu and a bunch of other stuff here so going inside here this is where you'll be able to customize all your background colors uh, your lock screen and also your themes fonts and start and taskbar 
So once you've got all that set, there's a bunch of other stuff you can do inside here to give your PC your own type of feel. So inside here we talked about themes the other day and this will also change the color of the taskbar, start menu and other things like that. So when you install these, this is what they generally do. They just change the wallpapers and a bunch of other stuff. Inside here you've got your fonts, you can change your default fonts which if you wanted to do that and also you've got your start here which is to do with your start menu. Inside here you can show tiles on the start or show more tiles on your start. You can also show apps in the list start menu and a bunch of other things in here. You can just toggle these on or off depending on what you want on and what you want off. So you can see there. It's entirely up to you what you do with your particular setup. You can expand this if you wish. If you didn't know how to do that, you can expand this and you can also make it taller as well. So that's entirely up to you how you set yours up and what size you have yours set to. You can have it tall and skinny or wide and fat, whatever way you'd like to do it. So that's how you can adjust the size of your start menu here. You can also uh, do other things with your start menu as well. You can move these tiles around, you can remove these tiles, you can edit the titles on them and uh, you can drag and move these about as well. I really don't use this particular area. As you can see, it's quite minimalistic. I don't really use it. Now you're gonna get people that like the uh, Windows start menu tiles and some people don't. I don't really particularly use them. So if they removed it, I really wouldn't be that disappointed. But there is people that use them and use the live tiles as well. So let's move on down to the bottom where it says taskbar here. This is where you can customize your taskbar, you can lock your taskbar, you can automatically hide the taskbar in the desktop mode. You can also do a bunch of other stuff here. Use small uh, taskbar buttons. This is useful if you have quite a lot of programs pinned to your taskbar. It just makes the, uh, the actual button smaller so you can fit more on. And also we've got use uh, the command prompt Instead of PowerShell, you can swap that over if you wish. When you right click here, you'll see Command Prompt. We well, can have PowerShell there, depends on what you prefer to have there. So let's move on down to the lower area here, where you've got your notification area. You can see here, taskbar location on screen. So it's on the bottom. You can set this to the right or the top. Some people have it on the sidebar there some people have it up the top it's just depending on where you want to position it so you can position it wherever you like and then you've got some other bits and pieces on here as well so combined taskbar buttons and you can also customize the taskbar a little bit as well you can click on this and it will show you how to do that uh, you've got the people area if you don't use the people you can turn that off and toggle it on and off it's entirely up to you what you have on your taskbar. I have no use for that so I just turn that off normally. And then we have the multiple displays. If you have more than one monitor you can show your taskbar on both displays or toggle that off and just have it on one display. It's entirely up to you. I have it on both displays but you can turn that off and have it on just one display if you wish. And there's a bunch of other stuff on here as well. You can hide also the search box and a bunch of other stuff here. Turn system icons on or off, you can go here. This is your system icons if you want to turn off the clock or the volume or whatever it is you want to turn off. You can just toggle these on or off and it will just turn these features off and you won't see them on there. So if there's something in particular you don't like, maybe like the action center, you can turn it off and it just disappears. It doesn't uninstall it or anything like that, just toggles it off and turns it off of your taskbar. That simple really. And uh, yeah, that is the uh, settings for your system icons on your taskbar. You can just turn those on or off. Also, when it comes to your taskbar, you can uh, you see up the top there it says locked. That means uh, that you can't move it or anything like that, like expand it. If you want to make it double thickness, you can make it double thickness like so. So you can get more icons on there and you can still use your taskbar so you can have it a bit fatter if you want to and then lock it in position once you've got it set. So that's basically the taskbar in a nutshell, pretty straightforward and easy stuff. 
So I think we've covered all of that. You can see here now we do have that blue thing going on and it looks quite nice. And that's basically how you do it. So quite a few people ask about it. If you want to install these uh, tiles, you can just right click on these and uninstall them. You can turn on live tile. You can also make them smaller, uh, larger, whatever you want to do there. You can also unpin them, pin them to the taskbar, pin them to the start menu, all that sort of stuff really. If you want to get into that, you can do. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, the actual tiles there that you've got on your start menu. Now also down the bottom, let's close that off and come down to the bottom here. You've got your search box. You can uh, manipulate this down here. So you can see here by right clicking on here, you've got toolbars and you've got address, links, desktop, and you can add in search. You can hide this if you wish. And there's a bunch of other stuff here uh, that you can uh, mess with down here that's to do with the actual search box so yeah pretty much uh, pretty basic stuff down there but that is it really that is how to use and customize your start menu and taskbar i hope this one's been useful my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.